Today I'm going to show you how to register and download an ebook from the Jacaranda website. To do this, you're going to need your ebook code and an internet connection. You can register for the website and add a book to your bookshelf either on a normal computer, a desktop or laptop, or directly on your iPad. The steps required to download the ebook is first we need to create an account, or if you already have an account, we need to log into the account. Second, we need to register for the ebook. And third, we need to select the ebook and download the ebook. We need to go to the Jacaranda website. The address www.jackplus.com.au is on the card you would have received from Jacaranda. First thing we're going to need to do is to create a user account. To create the user account, hit the Create User Account button found at the top right of the screen. A new page will open and we need to fill in the information as requested. As you start typing in the first part of the school, you'll notice that it offers you all the options for, Lily for Lilydale. We select Lilydale High School, fill in the state, and name and details. You need an email address. If you don't have an email address, you can use your school email address. Every student at Lilydale High School has an email address which is comprised of their login code, the code that you use to log into the computers. It's normally three letters and four numbers. You don't need to use your school address, but if you don't have your own email address, then you can use the school one. The password needs to be a minimum of eight characters. If you're going to use your school log, your school password, and it doesn't have eight characters, just add a couple of characters to the end of it. We need to read the agreement and agree to it. I don't want to get their advertising material, so I'll untick this box. Once you've entered all of the information, you need to click on Create Account. And we're done. We're now logged in. Make sure you write down that username and password uh, so that you can come back and log into this account later on if you need to. Once you've logged into your user account, um, you need to enter the code for your books. You're automatically on your bookshelf, but you'll notice that nothing is here because you haven't entered any books yet. We need to enter our book code, which is over in this section here. If you purchase the ebook only, that will have come on a little green card. If you've bought the book, then the code is inside the front cover of the book. We simply enter the code in here and click Add. We need to agree to the terms of the use of the ebook. And now we'll see that our ebook is on our bookshelf. If you have multiple ebooks, you can redeem them all at once. Simply just add your extra codes into this code area here. Click Add, accept the agreement. And now you'll see that we have a number of ebooks on our bookshelf. Okay, now it's time to swap over to the iPad. I've already logged onto the Jacaranda website and I found the ebooks on my bookshelf. First, I need to tap on one of my ebooks to select it. The Jacaranda website allows you to view the book online, but we want to download the ebook to our iPad so that we can use it even without internet access. There are two important steps to being able to download the ebook. First, we need to select the chapter called Prelims. Chances are you're already in another chapter, so tap at the top left and select Prelims. This screen shows you how to use the online ebook, so come back later and have a good read of it. For now, just tap anywhere to remove it. The second trick is to tap the Resources button at the bottom left of screen. We should note a section titled Digital Resources. The first option under this says download a PDF version of this book. This is the one we want, so tap on this and Safari will pop up and download the ebook. Now we wait. 
Once the download is finished, you need to tap Open in Goodreader. Now it might appear as though the iPad stops responding here, but if you notice the button flash when you tap it, then it's still working and we just need to wait. The file we downloaded was a zip file, so when you tap it, Goodreader asks if you want to unzip it, so just tap Unzip. And now we have our ebook. You can go back to the Documents section and delete the zip file now. However, I recommend that you copy this to your computer via iTunes before deleting it, just to keep a backup.